Trouble comes in many different forms, different sizes and shapes. It often wears disguises, takes human form even, wears good smelling cologne, designer gear, and is usually good in bed. Yeah, I was introduced to trouble four years ago. <laughs> Hello? question. Are you old enough to be in this club? How did you get in here? Where your mama at? Because I'm about to tell your ass up. You done been outside and seen a line of folk and just snuck your ass in the club. About to get all of us locked the hell up. Get your ass off this stage. When I tell you what, I'm going to make a deal with you. Now, you got skills and talent. So if you promise that when you make it big, you come back and get me, girl, we can do this. You and me on the road. And I'm going to tell your ass up this time. Y'all give it up again with Shea Breezy. How y'all doing tonight? Yes. Can I get a gin and tonic? What are you getting? Mm, just water. Okay. And you made me miss Shea Breezy anyway. Oh, it's okay. We'll see you next time. Whatever. We'll have fun. Quit tripping. I'm just saying. What? I can't stand these places. Oh, well. Thanks. You like to dance, don't you? Yeah, I do. Let's okay, so go out there and dance. Oh. What's this for? I got it. I already paid for it. I put you it on my table. You need to have it, because your fault I'm here anyway. Since you don't want to be here, I'll buy your water. At least you can. <laughs> <laughs> All week, loaded, like I don't know what. And I'm up here with this full body cast on, about to damn that pants I can't breathe. <laughs> Y'all ladies know about that full body cast. When you're so lame in here. Damn. Hmm. I wish you stopped complaining. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that the time? Ooh, she sure is going down. Well, things may be looking up after all. Ooh. Look who just walked into the room. Oh, that's cute. Ooh. I never seen them before, have you? No, never. The one on the left, he's fine. His friend ain't too bad either. You right. You don't smell that? Smell what, man? All that pussy in the elbow. You know what? If you smell that, I don't want to have no parts of that. <laughs> no, man, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Come here, man, look, look, look. Look at all these fine, dude, single available ladies out here, man. It's like a Chinese buffet. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That over there. You see that over there, bro? Mm -hmm. I think I know her from somewhere. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know her? You know her? Shit, I need to get to know her. Matter of fact, I'm going to get to know her tonight. <laughs> you know what? Good luck with that. She look like one of them girls that don't play that bullshit. Besides, what make you think she going to come and holler at you? Shit, who she going to come holler at then? You? <laughs> come on, Marco. Oh, man, be serious, dog. I should go talk to her. Now? Yes. 
So wait a minute, Sage, we just, they just got here. Like, give him a chance to get settled for a second. He don't even like he's from here. So what? Give him a second. No, exactly. That's all the more reason for me to welcome his fine ass to Jacksonville. Sage. Now watch me Sa work. Sage. Sage! Hey, 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 hey. How you doing? What's up, baby? Nothing. Hmm. What's your name? Look at him. Oh, I'm uh, Justice. She's my man, Marco. Hey, Marco. That doing? was hey. trouble. Yeah. The How tall, sexy one Sage was talking to. And just like I knew it took no time for him to fall under her spell, she had that effect on everyone she met. <laughs> ah, see y'all hating. But I'm going to get out y'all way and bring up our next Indie artist, another talented brother, Mr. I Gill. Men never responded that way to me. I mean, I'm not hating though. You know, she's my best friend. And I understood exactly why she received the attention she got. But, man, just once, it'd be nice to get showered in attention like that. Damn, he's so fine. <laughs> he smiled at her. No goals, another plus. I had to get my mind off him. He was officially placed in the hands-off category because Sage was interested. <laughs> the DJ was playing some pretty good music that night, and I loved to dance. So that's what I did. I got out there and danced. I kiss on your heart, I miss you. bring me down the with the die of going to prom with that new bracelet I buy. We were happy teenagers, going to class. You was past the sweet love, I was making you laugh. And we was imagining places we was too young to trip. But I was steady testing boundaries then. So young was so foolish, licking ice cream like it's cool. What while you grinning at me? How could do this. We touched the first time. A covenant made in blood and wine. Now in heaven and the love is divine. Cause baby, cause baby. I remember you when you were young and 22. You were something like that. Oh, girl. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> oh, let me introduce you. Huh? This is Justice. Hey, what's up? Justice. Don't I? How you doing? And his friend Marco. Y'all, this is my best friend, Corey Baxter. What's up, Corey? Nice to meet you guys. So much. Yeah. <laughs> you can like right? dancing, I know, right? <laughs> you have some video, right? No. You gotta be a video. No, no, nothing like that. I just want to dance. I don't mind. She was pregnant and I ain't have a dime. I caught a guy from the side of mercy because Katrina, I heard the end of my pocket. I remember feeling so nervous. Marco, now he was real cool, sexy, very fly, but would never be anything more than a friend. Justice, on the other hand, he had me thinking all kind of inappropriate thoughts. Again, I want you again, again. Trina, baby, since you've been got a reminisce upon your gentle kiss. Oh, how I want to feel your arms and pretty dent bows. When it's been cold, I'm no longer with you. Missing your good cooking and the way you sniff after romantic movies or romantic dent. Coy, they want to take us to go get something to eat. Hell no. Look at me, my clothes, my hair. I'm not going, Sage, no. Corey, please. It'll be fun. Look, I'm really feeling this dude. And I want to spend a little more time with him. Please. It'll be fun. We don't even have to stay that long. I can't eat in front of him anyway. I'm too shy. Come on, please. OK. OK. Yes, we can go. Yes. Oh, I owe you one. I love you. <laughs> Come on. These restaurants are so cold in here, man. I know it is chilly, right? <laughs> you sweat like a slave on the dance floor. <laughs> no wonder why your ass is so cold. <laughs> how y'all doing tonight? Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Welcome to Broadway Pizza. My name's Amber and I'm taking care of all night. Can I go ahead and take y'all's drink order? Uh, I just want a water. Water? Water. Water to say. I'll be right back. Yo, who's Sage over there talking to? Some more of her adoring fans. I take it you don't like them? Don't know. They, however, don't like me. You know what? Black women are real complicated. Always in constant competition with each other. I don't understand that. 
vodka. I mean, I agree with you, but it's not like you men don't benefit from that dysfunction. You know what? Say that, okay? No, no, let's talk about it. I mean, you offered your unsolicited opinion about women. It doesn't seem too unreasonable that I should mention that a lot of the reasons why black women don't get along is because of the lies, manipulation, and bullshit you men like to put us through. I'm not saying that is an excuse, but it's definitely a reality. <laughs> okay? You asked for it. Here we go. Look, Corey, I don't buy into that, okay? Don't sit here and try to justify how some of y'all women act. We all tripping over some dude. Half of the time he a scrub, ain't got no money, no car, a bunch of damn kids he can't even pay for. And let's talk about that bad breath he got. <laughs> but y'all still chasing after him. Laying up with him, having more babies with him. Then you run to your mama and friends and complain about what he doing and what he not doing. I will say this. Most men do take women through a lot of bullshit, Thank but you. at the same time, some of the women that act like y'all don't like it, sure got a funny way of showing that shit. <laughs> you like that? Touche. <laughs> you know what? You are right, man. Right. 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 If I'd have said that to anybody else, it would have been slapping the black off my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, black it is. Black, black and jacket. They have a whole lot of slapping to do, Marco. I'm just being real with you. I know, right? I got to go, man. I got to go head over the Falcon. The Falcon? The Falcon it's, it's facilities. Hold on. You got to go right now. Why don't you just wait and wait for them? Come right back. Hey, just come right back. Let's just know what I want. Yeah, just know what I want. I mean, right now? I got to right now. I got you. Marco, why you got You just gonna stand there? Have a seat, trust me. He gonna be a while. <laughs> Why are you in such a rush for her to come back? I mean, she's supposed to be over here with you. She's over there, I think it's just kind of rude. Don't you? Huh. You know, you're a very good dancer. Thanks. Cold? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Want my mm -hmm. That better? Hey. Oh, hey, babe. <laughs> Did y'all order yet? No, nah, we just got water. Oh. Everything came out right? <laughs> I wasn't sure what was happening. Didn't understand what kind of game Justice was playing with me. The way he looked at me. Oh, God. I wanted him. He just smelled so good. He was driving me crazy. Everything was. The way he completely ignored me. It didn't make sense. It didn't make sense at all. I knew he felt something, too. I could tell the way he draped his jacket across my shoulders. The way his eyes linger on mine. I knew he felt something. He had to. Ooh. Ooh, girl, I had so much fun tonight. Did you? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a lot of people there and everything. And you know, <laughs> Corey? You being real quiet tonight, you all right? What's up with you? So, what'd you think about Marco? Hmm, what do you mean? What did I think about Marco? Oh, come on. Corey, I saw how he was looking at you. Y'all look so cute together. <laughs> he is so funny. Mm. And he is so chocolate. Then why don't you date him? Oh, please, now. You know I got my eye on justice. Corey, you think he likes me? I do, and he couldn't keep his eyes off you all evening. His hands, either. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, that's it for you. All Look, right. I, I need to um, do my scrubs tonight. Me and you, we stayed out way too late, okay? Damn, Corey, you being a real ass tonight. Whatever. No sense of humor or nothing. What's up with that? Nothing. Okay, you gonna kick me out, that's cool, whatever. But promise me one thing. Look, no more favors for you, okay? okay. No, seriously. Promise me you'll give the idea of you and Marco some consideration. Oh. 
Cause he really does seem to like you. <laughs> Sage, he knows nothing about me to like me. We just met tonight. And? And I really don't see me and Marco kicking it like that. I mean, he is cool, granted. But I mean, just as a friend, nothing else. Corey. <sighs> Sage, don't push. Just, just let it go. All right, I won't push. Thank you. Enjoy your scrubs, I'm tired as hell. I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night, good night, good night. Justice, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, Sage had to make a run. She'll be back in like an hour. Um, then why didn't you go with her? I was tired. I had a long night. But you already knew that, didn't you? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Quit playing these games, Corey. I know what you saw. And I most definitely know what I saw. Look, um, you know, I don't get down like that. Sage is my best friend. And I'm not trying to hurt her, so you need to leave, honestly. Well, you know this has nothing to do with Sage, don't you? Justice, um, 
just as I think you need to stop, okay? I'm not trying to hurt my friend like that. We've been close for so long. I'm not trying to ruin anything she has, and she really does like you, so, you know, you just need to back up. I think you really do need to go, okay? Just go. Just, 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 This man touched me. The more I thought about what I had seen the night before, those lips. I pleaded for God to take the desire that was stirring inside of me away. I wanted to be freed from this hole he had on me, but I couldn't fight it anymore. The more I kissed him, when he got on his knees oh, and lowered his face into the center of me, that's how it all began. And now four years later, Sage is six months pregnant with his child. And I knew that I was wrong for being involved with my best friends, man. I knew that. But hell, you can't help who you fall in love with. And I was in love, deeply, crazy in love, with Justice Evans. Hey, thanks for meeting me here, Corey. You're welcome. Sound like you had something heavy on your mind. Actually, I do. Okay. What's up? Well, look, Corey, I won't drag this out, okay? Cool. We've been doing our thing for like four years now. Yeah. And I gotta admit, I'm digging you. But, you know, it's like you bring the other side of me out, like the side that Sage came. And I like that. I really do. Justice, you know how much you mean to me, right? Yeah. I mean, I know I shouldn't feel this way about you but I can't help it. I love you. Corey. I, I didn't say it for you to say it back. I just thought you should know. I mean, I really do love you. I brought you out here to tell you that we can't keep doing this. We just can't. I'm sorry. What? We can't do this anymore? Really? We can't do this anymore. Corey, Corey, stop, stop. Can't do this. <clears throat> I don't understand, Justice. I just got finished telling you that I love you. And the next thing to come out your mouth is we can't do this no more? Look, Corey, I never meant to hurt you. <laughs> but, I mean, we just gotta be real with each other. All we ever had was good sex. Good. We knew nothing else was gonna come out of this. We knew it. Good sex. Nothing more. <laughs> Nothing more? Nothing more? No, fuck that. I've been waiting. Waiting on you to make a choice. Waiting on you all this time. And now all of a sudden you want to do the right thing? Now all of a sudden because she's pregnant, you want to do right by her? Four years, Justice! I've been waiting on you for four long years. It was more than just sex to me. It was more than that. Lord, your voice. Don't tell me what to do. I talk as loud as I damn well please. I ain't your woman. You can't tell me what to do. You're right. You ain't my woman. And you never will be. I'm out of here. Justice. Justice. Justice! Justice, wait! What you did last night? Man, last night was off the chain. You, you know go? where I went to? I went to so so hoes, it was popping. It was so many hoes up yeah. in there. You should have been there. I'm telling you, it was like so many. Yeah. Man, I got at least two numbers. But man, but last night, man. Hey, Shotty, got a man? What's up? Hey, hey, what's up? You not gonna answer me? What's up? What? 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 What you got to say to so damn What? Oh, you wanna know if I had a man? Was that it? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me answer that for you. But first, what if I said I didn't? Then what? Well, uh, I asked for your number so we can conversate. Oh, okay. Conversate, huh? Oh, yeah, it's okay. kicking. Did your dumb ass know that's not a word? It's converse. So with that being said, why would I waste time with a raggedy Negro like you wearing clothes three sizes too big for him? Pants sagging, showing your dirty drawers. Hanging around the middle of the day with another hard leg, which means your ass ain't got no job. 
Then you run around here some broke down kicks which tell me your ass ain't got no car. Fake gold around your neck, old nappy ass head. What the hell could you possibly offer me? Man, leave that hoe alone. She must I'm be on the period or something. Hoe? My period? <sighs> See, that's what's wrong with you boys today. I don't know who the fuck told y'all it was okay to talk to and treat a woman like that, but whoever it is need to get their ass kicked. Oh, I'm the hoe because I have no interest in you? No, no, I'm on my period because I'm tired of being mistreated by y'all. What's up? You ain't got nothing to say now? Oh, you don't want to conversate with me no more? Huh? What's the problem, fellas? Come on. Come on, come back. I was tripping. I knew I was taking my frustration about the situation with justice out on them. I was so angry. He made a fool out of me. A complete and total fool. You right. You ain't my woman. And you never will be. I brought you to tell you that we can't do this anymore. We can't see each other anymore. I'm sorry. since I've seen her talk to him. Three long, sad weeks. I thought about the situation all the time. Him telling me that he wanted to be with Sage and his child, that I was just a side job, someone that fulfilled his fantasies. Hadn't spoken to Sage either. Torn between the guilt I felt for betraying her and that, that dull ache in my heart for the man we both loved. Hello? So, I have to call you from a blocked number in order to speak to you, huh? Sage. Hey, girl. What's up? What's up? Corey, why haven't I heard from you? Where the hell you been at? <sighs> I know, girl. I just, whew, I just been so busy ripping and running. How you doing? Damn, Corey, you supposed to be my best friend. You've been avoiding my calls. I haven't seen you in weeks. Why are you acting so weird? Yeah. Um, no, I just, you know, I just was, I had stuff I had going on. It's like you shut me out of something. I have no idea why or what I've done to make you act this way. Sage, it has nothing to do with you, okay? I just been doing some soul searching, that's all. Hell, you had me worried sick. So tell me. What's new with the baby? The baby is fine. Kicking, you know, moving all the time. And I don't know what it is about being pregnant, but I'm so horny all the time. <laughs> and you know how justice is. <laughs> huh? Um, no, I don't. 
No, I'm just saying I don't know how justice is. I don't know. You asked me if I know what it is. I don't know. Okay. All I was going to say was, you know how much he loves to have sex. Well, since I got pregnant, he wants it all the time. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Excuse me while I go throw up. Oh, please. You're just mad you ain't getting it on a regular. Yeah, you're right. Oh, but you know what? I think that drought finna be over. What you talking about, Sage? Justice has a cousin. He just recently moved here from out of town, and I'm having a little get-together, and maybe you should come by. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can make that love connection. Oh, hell no. I don't do that. You know that I don't do that. I hate the blind dates. Say, why you always be doing that kind of stuff? And I told you about that. Why, Corey? Damn. It ain't like you seeing anybody. Damn. Give it a try. I just want to see you happy. Sage! Well... If I can't hook you two up, well, can you please come by and get something to eat? You coming to the party? Okay. I'll come. For you. You want to catch a movie or something? No. Thanks anyway, though. I'm thinking about going to the club, girl. I don't understand how you go out by yourself like that. I feel like dancing. Well, be careful, because you know these fools out here, they looking for a reason to hurt somebody. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'll talk to you later. I love you, sis. I love you, back. Backward. time with you tonight, Zarian. <laughs> you know, it's been a while since I've been out with the real gentleman, and I needed this, so thanks. Hey, it's not like the temptation was there, but I enjoyed myself, too. I hope I get to see you again, though. Uh, can I be honest with you? Honesty is good. Well, I, I kind of just got out of something, and I'm still dealing with it. It's been kind of rough, you know what I'm saying? Well, then I came at the perfect time. Why is that? 
so I can take your mind off whoever was stupid enough to let you go. <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> we can catch a movie, get some coffee, take a walk in the park, you know, start there, no pressure. Like I said, I just, I need to find myself in a good place. And I mean, you know, you seem like a real nice guy. I really don't want to lead you on, I swear I don't. I just, <laughs> it's just too much right now, you know? Okay, well, the offer still stands. I'm not going anywhere. Hit me up when you're ready to drop that zero and get with, get the... with this hero. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, you got it. So uh, I guess I'll be seeing you. Maybe. Maybe. Take care of me. You too. If anything. Really? Man, this is so crazy. You know, I mean, <laughs> first us just meeting like this again, and then, you know, my cousin, and then his fiance, and we doing all wait, this. Wait, 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 wait. Fiance? Yeah. What you talking about? They're not engaged. Yes. Excuse me, everyone. <sighs> Thank you. I have an announcement to make. As you can see, Justice and I are about to have our first child. <laughs> and this is a very exciting moment in our lives right now. Corey, I love you. And you've been my friend for a long time. We've been through a lot together. I wanted to ask you to be the baby's godmother and stand for me at my wedding. Justice and I are getting married. Wow. <laughs> That's great. I don't know what to say. Say he'll do it. I mean, there's no one else I would ask but you. Excuse me, just, just give me a second. Congratulations, I guess. Thanks. Oh, God. Corey! Just go away. Please, Corey, let me in. I just came up here to see if you were okay. Dancer, come on. So, um, I'm sorry, what, what made you 
run off and cry like that. Sage was, you know, he kind of scared her to death a little bit. So I told her I'd come up here and talk to you. I don't know. I just really can't. I guess I was overwhelmed by that. I can't really see myself being the baby's godmother. But why? I don't think I'm worthy of it, really. Sage thinks you're worthy. I mean, why not step up to the plate? Yes, Sage, give me a minute. I just was a little overwhelmed, Sage. That's, that's all. So, I take it by your response that you don't want to be the baby's godmother. No, 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 Sage. That's, that's not what's on my God. Don't cry. That's, that's not the situation. I just, I wasn't expecting you to you to say something like that. I mean, it just caught me off guard. That's all. It was it was nothing. I'm sorry, Corey. Who else would I consider? You, you're like my best friend. There's no one else I'd even ask that question, but you. Sage, there are so many people that love and respect you. And them same people wonder why you're friends with me. And I guess sometimes I do too. Corey, you are a beautiful, talented, loving person. And a lot of people don't know that about you because you don't show it. I guess it's because of your past or something. I don't know, but I know that about you. And that's why I asked you, Corey. Sage. What? Sage. What's wrong, Corey? I need to tell you something. What is it, Corey? Okay. No. I can't tell you this. I can't tell you this. I want to tell you. I want to tell you so bad. I want to tell you. Oh, Corey, I'm what sorry. is it? I'm sorry. I'm what sorry. Is it? I'm sorry. You're starting to scare me. Please tell me what's wrong with you, Corey. Say, you guys okay or not? Yeah, babe. We'll be out in a second. We're just, you know, having a girly moment. Everything's all right. All right. Uh, come on, let's go back out there. I'm sure Zarian is waiting for you. He seemed so concerned. You know? And he's cute. He's really cute. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> you could kiss him too. <laughs> you kissed him? You know, you should give him a chance. Don't shut him out, Corey. <laughs> I think you should do something about it. So. <laughs> Mommy. I know. I love you, sis. I love you, too. I have to tell her. As much as I know it'll hurt her, Sage deserves to know the truth. I can't believe she asked me to be the baby's godmother. Damn, how could I accept such an offer when I was in love with the child's father, when I've been sleeping with him behind her back all these years? Justice. We already done talked before. You already told me how you felt. I don't got time to deal with this shit no more. What is it that you want to say since you brought your ass up here all the way to my house? What is it that you want? Justice what? Tell me what... Get off me! The hell wrong with you? You and Zarian? What about me and Zarian? What do you mean, what about you and Zarian? Just the thought about him kissing on you? Touching you? Hugging you? <sighs> Look, you're mine. I love you. This is mine. Come here. Get off 
love me. Must have made you realize that you know you want to be with me. <clears throat> Justice. Yeah. Justice, what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Where you going? You leaving? Where you going? Corey, look, nothing's changed. I'm still marrying Sage. <laughs> I mean, I just don't want you seeing my cousin. I, just, I ain't having it. What? You ain't having it? You still gonna marry her? You still gonna marry her and pretend to be the doting, faithful husband when we both know you ain't none of them things? Let me get this straight, Justice. You come over here, tell me you love me, fuck me, and all of a sudden nothing's changed? After, after what we just did? You still gonna do this? Corey, look. I guess I got caught up with something. <laughs> caught but up. Seeing you with Zarian, it just made me jealous. Look, I do love you. I do. Just not like Sage. I'm sorry. I know it don't make any sense to you. Right? You damn right it don't make no sense. Who the hell you think you are? God damn it! Damn it me for fucking around with your ass! Damn it, I'm just wasting my time on your, you, all you do is just all day long and just lead me on over and over and over again. <laughs> I sacrificed my friendship with the only person that ever gave a damn about me for you. Damn you, Justice. Get the fuck out my house. Get out! Look, you can say what you want to say about me, but I don't want you seeing my cousin. That's it. I don't want you seeing him. I'm out of here. Fine, take your raggedy ass clothes and get the fuck up out of here. I don't want to see you. I don't want to talk to you. Don't bring your ass around this motherfucking house for a week, too!
world are you looking at? Look at this spider. I mean, I wonder why it would build this home here. Don't it know somebody gonna come through and knock it down? Uh, why here? I don't think the spider thinks like that, Corey. Like, does it go checking out its surroundings before it starts to build a web? It just knows that it needs to build a home somewhere and pretty much anywhere I do. It's like, kind of like mothers have instinct, well, spiders have instinct too. Now, does that make sense? Yeah, but if it had instinct, it should have known better. Cause somebody's still gonna come through and knock it down. I mean, look, he done used up all his web, wasted his time, and he's still gonna have to find himself a new home. That ain't instinct, Auntie, that is dumb. Maybe God knew spiders would have a hard life, Corey. So he made them very resilient. That's right. Resilient. Resilient. Mm -hmm. That mean they can take a lot, huh? Pretty much. I mean, resilient just sound like a fancy way of saying they gotta put up with a whole bunch of shit. Corey, watch your mouth, girl. <laughs> But yes, that's exactly what it means. You know, you're pretty smart. You get that from your auntie. <gasps> Stop! Look at Corey. You see Corey? Now she's over there watching you. She sees everything you're doing right now. She's over there watching you act like a drunken fool. Now stop it. You Come think on. you better than you me. You think you better than me. I ain't never wanted that child. Shut up! No, stop! She's standing right over there. She can hear everything you're saying right now. So fucking what? Millie. I should have just flushed her ass down the toilet. Millie. Oh, Mama! Auntie, stop! Please, stop! Y'all, stop! Stop! It's, it's me, Corey. Oh, Corey. Hey, what time is it, baby? You okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm all right. Um, look, I just really couldn't get any sleep. And um, I was wondering if, you know, you wanted to come over. Oh. Uh, come over? I, I can. I mean, if you're sure. Yeah, I mean, I... I, I I, I know it's late and everything, you know. Matter of fact, you, you really don't have to come. I'm sorry I even brought it up in the first place. I, I, I'm sorry for waking you up. It's my bad, Zary. Right, right. don't even, don't even... give me your address so I can put it into my GPS. I'm about to get in the car now. Okay. You want me to stop and get something to eat? I'm not sure what's open. It's late. No, you don't have to bring anything to eat. Well, I mean, <clears throat> why don't you let me cook you something? Breakfast. Oh, and some grits? <laughs> Yeah, one of those big ass pieces of ham. You know, the one with the bone. Thanks for coming. I know it was late and everything, but after that dream I had, I couldn't go back to sleep. I appreciate it. Yeah. You want to talk about it? Mm, no, I, I'm okay. 
Look, Corey, if we're going to make this work, you got to open up to me. I mean, I want to know everything there is to know about you. I want to know what makes you sad. I want to know about your dreams. I want to know when you look off into the distance what you're thinking about. It's like you're someplace else. Someplace better. Come on, talk to me. Don't shut me out. You know, Sage said the same thing about the, uh, <clears throat> not, not shutting you out. Well, uh, Sage is a good friend and smart too. Yeah, she is. So, what was the dream about? <sighs> okay. Um, Zarina had a rough childhood. Mm -hmm. My mama, she was drunk. She was a horrible, raging drunk. And she was abusive. Oh. Yuri! I hate you! She's not in her right mind, Corey. She's not in her right mind. I wish Celia was my mother and not you! She used to beat me. And it didn't take much to set her off. But there was one person that took me away from all that. That was my Aunt Celia. She was a dancer too. Sounds like she's a special person. She was. She was an amazing person. You said was. I mean, what happened to her? She was killed. Right in front of me. Um, my mama did it. Millie, you are so evil! Get off of me! See you. See you. Get up. See you, get up. Shit, see what you done made me do? Celia! Oh. Come on, Mama, stop! Oh, please. No, she got money. I know. You stupid bitch. You should have just gave me the money. Gave me the money. After my aunt died, uh, my mama, she got worse. She stayed drunk. But you know what? For the first time, I was at peace. But that peace, that quiet I craved so much, it didn't last very long. He said, Since your mama can't take care of me, you gonna have to. That's what you're supposed to do. Take care of me when she ain't able to. Who told you that? My father. Well, I thought he was my father. Turns out later he wasn't. Court. <laughs> Poor baby, listen to me. None of this was your fault. He was sick. And your mother was sick too. None of this was your fault. You don't know about me. You don't know about my life. Corey, listen to me. What they did to you was wrong. They were wrong, not you. No, you don't understand. You was a child when they took advantage of you, baby. You don't understand, Zane. What? You don't understand. What do I not understand? I liked him. Okay? I began to like being with him. <laughs> Like being with a, a man who stole your innocence? A damn pedophile? And, oh, well, hold up. And you like being with them? Come on, Cora, what the hell does that mean? Sometimes I would initiate it. That's what it means, Zarian. It means I began to view his abuse as something else. <laughs> My God! Oh, mm. Celia began to 
betray me. It's her fault too, not just my mother's. She was a victim just like you. The only thing is that she is worse off because she is dead. Clearly she didn't want to see her sister drink herself to death. And look what that got her. You know, the last time we were together, someone tried to break in the apartment and caught us. Caught us in bed. And my mama, <laughs> my mama for the first time, she came to my defense. But it was too late. I ran to him. Baby, you were victimized, and your aunt was too. And that bastard, he is not worth another day of your tears, of your energy, or your life. Let him go, baby. Let him go. How? How do you let go? of the need to be loved by someone. Now. <laughs> you, <laughs> you still feel something for this guy after everything that he did to you? My God, Corey, he molested you. I don't, I don't feel anything for him, Zarian. That's not what I'm saying. But he has taken on different forms. Different faces, different circumstances. Same reason. You won't find what you're looking for by sharing yourself with a bunch of different men. You act like it's simple, Zane. It's not that easy. It's complicated. You keep saying that word complicated. Then do this. I'll complicate your life. God, Corey. Let me be there for you. Let me show you what being with somebody who won't exploit you and show you the love and treat you with the respect that you deserve. Love and respect. Yes. I deserve. I don't deserve any of that. I don't understand. Why are you even here? After everything I just told you, why are you even here? <laughs> of course. Of course that's why you're here. Corey. Just like everybody else. Would you want the same thing? Corey. Hmm? Why would you be any different, Zarian? Why don't Corey. you just come and get what you want? You want it? Come on, come on. I'm going to give Corey. it to you right now. Come on, this is what you Corey. want, isn't it? This is what you want? Stop! I'm here because I want to be here. Damn, Corey. Stop trying to sabotage your happiness. Stop being okay with being miserable. I'm offering you a chance out of this dark place which you've been for so long, baby. What you shared with me tonight, it was hard to, to understand. It was hard to listen to. But hey, look at me, baby. I'm glad that... Zarian, I, I don't know what to say. I just... I want to I wanna tell you the truth. I do. I want to tell you the truth, but... I'm afraid if I do, you won't want to be with me anymore. Just... No, I'm not, Corey. You know, I think you're used to men who give up so easy that throw in a towel and don't make an effort to try so hard. That's not me. It's not me at all. I don't give up that easy, especially when it's something that I want and like. And right now, all I want is you. This ain't saved. Justice? Is Zarian over there? What the hell are you doing calling me? Don't worry about who over here. <sighs> Oof, you was an evil bastard. Corey, does he know what kind of hoe you is? You sleeping with the both of us? I know you ain't talking about me. You the one calling me from your fiance's phone, sweating me about who over here. That's you, not me. Mm, I know what. 
<laughs> Maybe I should tell her what kind of slimy ass little hoe you is, huh? Huh? Does he know how many men you slept with over the years? Huh? Does he know that? Huh? Yeah, I think I should tell him that. You know what, Justice? <laughs> you the worst kind of man. Because you really thought you could have the both of us. And I was the fool for playing any of your stupid games. But I'm not doing it anymore. Ali, man. I told you to stay away from my cousin. Check this out. Don't you ever call my house again. Ever. I got to see you because I'm the baby's godmother, but I ain't got to talk to your dumb ass. <sighs> you know what? It amazes me that you and Zarian are cousins. I ain't playing with you. Stay away from my cousin. How the same blood runs through your veins? <laughs> Blows me away. Goodbye, Justice. What? <laughs> this bitch hold up the phone. Golly. Okay, you look like you've been crying. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Mm. Just tying up some loose ends, that's all. <laughs> I'm glad you came. Really, I am. I'm really glad you came. <laughs> I can't imagine not being anywhere else, Corey. Oh, really? Mm. Mm. What you think I should name a baby? I, you gotta be neat. Justin's coming with these old ghetto names. I'm like, I ain't naming my baby that. Exactly. <laughs> I, I know, girl. You know they ain't hiring people named what? the Quan. <laughs> <laughs> Sage, I just wanted to let you know that um, I really am glad you asked me to be here and uh, asked me to be the baby's godmother. I'm so honored to, to be that. and. I want to say that I love you and you mean so much to me. I love you too, sis. <laughs> Thank you. Thank y'all for showing up. Of course. I love my kids. I can't wait to stay here for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the way they act towards me it doesn't bother me. I mean, my obligation is to Sage, not to them. Those are her friends, not mine. The baby was almost here. Her due date less than two weeks away. Things between Zarian and I were becoming more serious each day. And although he would question me when I refused to come with him to spend time with Justice and Sage, I never disclosed the truth. I was afraid to, too ashamed. It's like I already shared the most intimate, sad things of my life with him. What was keeping me from just telling him everything? I knew what it was, fear. Fear that once he knew everything, It'd be too much and he'd want to leave. Not to mention my friendship with Sage would be over. And I'd be alone again. That's why I didn't say anything. I'm so afraid of being alone. I was also starting to feel the weight of the guilt. I had to tell her. I had to be honest with Sage and Zarian about what had been going down. I knew the risk, but... I had to free my conscience of this lie, face the consequences of my choices. I had to. For the sake of the people that I loved, I had to. Sage, look at you. You look like you're about to pop any day now, girl. <sighs> I feel like I am. Are you scared? Terrified. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Me? A mom? I cuss. <laughs> I drink. Sometimes I partake of the occasional herbal mental augmentation. Okay. <laughs> Keep that on the low, okay? Let's go. Hey, I want you to be in a room with me. Come with. When I have the baby. 
I want you to be in the room. <laughs> Hell no. I need to be in the room for that. No, ma'am. Um, there's just some things about each other, you know, we weren't meant to know. Okay? Oh, it's cool. I mean, you know, what if something happens? And the doctor has to do that thing where he cuts down there to get the baby out. What you call that? It's called an episiotomy. Yeah, that. That right there. <laughs> I would fall out if I saw some shit like that. Oh, my God. I mean, just think about it. Scissors and coochie. That was never meant to be paired together. That's gross. <laughs> Ooh. Corey, you are so crazy. I but I love you. I love you back. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting late. I need to get home. My TV show about to come on. What show? The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh my God! You got my guy so watching that mess, girl. You know he's asleep by the time it comes on. And I got the TV all to myself tonight. Justice is away at Marco's. Why is he over there? You know, Marco. He's away on business and. You know he has that flea bitten critter, and I ain't want that dog at my house, so you know, Justice. He went over there, and he's watching the dog, that's all. Corey, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm... Girl, I'm just already counting them sheep, I'm so tired. But um, let's do this. Um, I know you need to get you some rest and, you know, enjoy your night at home. It's cool. Best believe I will. Okay. <laughs> Give me a shit, all right? Mm. Sage, I love you. I love you too. I, I thank you so much for being my friend all these years. You sure you okay? Yeah. I mean, you say that like we're not gonna be friends anymore or something. No, I'm, don't mind me, girl. I feel like my ankle's starting to swell. <laughs> I'm going home to sit on my ass some more. <laughs> all right. Give me sugar. All right, Corey. Bye, Sage. Justice. What do you mean now what? Oh, you mean am I gonna tell Marco about what just happened? <laughs> That's yeah. what you want to know? <laughs> yeah. Justice, you Girl, better... chill with all that. Ain't nobody gonna find out. Calm down, Selena. Good. Good. Look, I'm gonna go. What is that? What's what? Justice, what is this? I know Marco ain't had some bitch up in here. Give me that, man. Let me see what this is. What the hell? Whose is it? Selena. Is it that bitch's, ain't it? Whose Where's is you, it? Selena, where'd you get this? From back right here. Why? Who, 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 what is it? Damn it. Justice, tell me what's going on. Come on, let's go. I'm not going nowhere until you tell me what the fuck is going on. Until then, I'll be right here. I said, get your shoes and come on. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm not no, playing no, with, you. with you. 
Selena. Corey, look. Selena, I don't have nothing to say to you. Look, Corey, look. Just is on his way over here and he mad as hell. Please just open the door so we can talk about this. Let me explain, please. Come on. Where is it, Corey, huh? Where is it? What's it? What the hell you talking about? Look, look, get, Corey. Get out of Corey, my look, look. Please don't tell Girl, Marco shut about the hell up. Don't tell me to shut up. Look, Corey, I'm asking you woman to woman. Please don't tell Marco about this. I saw you. I saw you. You dirty. You trifling. You dirty. And what you doing in my house? Get out of here. I told you that. Yes, Stop. Let's go. Let's go. Leave. This ain't going nowhere. I know you got something. And I ain't leaving until you tell me what it is. What, you spying on me or some shit? I'm huh? spying on you. Bullshit. I was going to tell Sage. I was going to tell Sage that me and you been together. I forget we family. Man, I happen to love her, and I love you too, but right now you way out of line. What's wrong with you, man? She got you fooled, Zarian. Back, back off, man. She ain't no good, man. She got you fooled, she playing you. Don't you see that? You gonna choose this hole over your own flesh and blood, man? Justice, why? Why would you do something like this? I don't understand. I've never seen you act this way before. That's my best friend. Sage, I need to tell you something. Shut up! Let's just stop. Let her speak. Sage, come on. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere until I find out what the hell's going on. Look, you're going to be my wife. You're going to do what I say. Now, I said, come on, let's go. Oh, yeah. Look, Negro, you are really tripping. You are not my husband yet. Don't try that caveman shit on me, Justice. Now, I said I want to know what's going on. I'm not going anywhere until I find out. Fuck it. I'm out of here. Nah, player. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere until we get to the bottom of this. I need to show you something in my phone. Man, back up. Damn me. Sage, look at the phone. You need to know the truth about this person you about to marry. You know what? I don't, don't want to look. Sage, look at the pictures. Look at them. Look at them! Sage! Sage! Come here. Come Please, here. Come here. look. Just stop. Please, come, come, come here, come here. Let's just go home and let's just talk about this, okay? Go. Baby. No, baby. This. What? You want me to let you lie your way out of this? This mess? this at the house? No. What you want to talk about? How you was what? High? Drunk? What? She seduced you? There's no excuse for your behavior. No excuse. There's not one word that you can say to me to make me understand what you did. I hate you. <laughs> Thank me. There's something else I need to tell you. Um, something um, much worse than any of this. I mean, what can be worse than just the sleeping with her? Huh? Your best friend? What? Corey, what are you saying to me? Please, what are you saying to me? Sage, I've been sleeping with Justice. Corey, look at me. Look at me! You've been sleeping with him too? My best friend? You? Sage, I'm so sorry. It was so many times 
times that I wanted to tell you. I'm so sorry. I've been struggling with this for so long. But I'm, I just wanted to tell you this. I'm so sorry. secrets wouldn't get out you know what tell me why you know tell me why you decided to come clean after all these years I don't understand because of you because of Zarian I don't want to be living like this no more I know what I'm doing is wrong and I just for myself I can't go on like this I can't say you know what Justice. You're the absolute worst kind of man there is. Did you even use protection when you had sex with that freak? Sage, please, can, come on. Let's just go home and talk about this. Home? Or oh, nigga, you have no home. Just look at you. Your dumb ass is calling you still lying. Did you use protection with that freak, Selena? Where is she? Selena! He used protection when he had sex with you? No, no Sage. It was only one time, and it was tonight. He said that he wouldn't, you know, inside me. So you let him go up in you raw, huh? Fear of pregnancy was more important in your life? You dumbass, don't you watch the news? There's an epidemic of HIV amongst black women your age. It's not even from drug use. It's from high risk heterosexual behavior. Are you serious? Look at you. Have you looked at yourself lately, Sage? You preaching to me about unprotected sex and you're pregnant with his baby. So no. no I know my Are fucking status. All right. Do you know yours, Selena? Don't talk to me like that. Things got out of hand. I didn't even know he was over there. I was surprised at Marco. He came on to me. Things just really got out of hand. We started taking shots. We started smoking weed. That's it. That's it. You real dumb for having sex in your boyfriend's house with no protection. And you just wait. Because when he gets back, I'm going to be the first one to tell him about it. You don't have to do that. I love Marco. And I know what I did tonight doesn't prove that, but it's true. So please, I'm asking you, don't tell him. You know what? I bet you do love Cause he don't make his living hustling, selling drugs, stealing and shit. He takes you to nice places. Get your hair and your nails done. Right. And how do you repay him? Fuck his best friend and in his house no less. It was a mistake. Mistake my ass. All right. That's so damn raggedy, Selena. But you're right about one thing. 
He is a good man. And he deserves better than you. Look, Sage, I can make this right. I can make this right. Just don't tell Marco about this. <sighs> you really think I'ma listen to that? You talking like you need him or something. You don't need him. You don't need Marco. What you need is a clue. And you need Jesus. Not exactly in that order. Now leave. Fuck this, I'm out. Stage, I want to you. Corey, save it. Just save it. I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Where do you think you're going? I just want to make sure you get to the car safe. Oh, now you're worried about my safety, right? Justice, you wasn't worried about my safety when you was out there having unprotected sex with that hoe. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't want you and I don't need you. And as far as I'm concerned, this baby won't be needing you either. What? You can't keep my son away from me. Watch me. Zarian, are, are you all right? You know, I'm really sorry that you had to, to witness this shit. Are you gonna be all right? Yeah, um, I have no choice but to be okay, but... Thank you, Sage. Stop touch. I should have killed you. She gonna try to keep my son away from me. This is all your fault, Corey. You should have kept your mouth shut. Man, back up, Justice. God, what? You still defending this? Man, I was told you to chill with that. You can't blame her for this, Justice. What did she have to do with you messing with Selena, huh? Damn, I'm glad she caught your ass because you deserve everything that's happening to you. That was your boy's girl. And then you go sleep with her in his house. What about her? She is not your concern anymore. Man, you just don't get it, do you? It's always been about you. You don't care about how others feel. Shut up, Zarian. God, damn, Justice. Man, you know what? You punk, man. You weak. The first bitch to give you some pussy, you run around here acting like you all strong. Stupid, man. Oh. <laughs> I'm the one that's weak. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. But answer this. What do you have? Say she don't want your ass no more, and she damn sure ain't going to let you see the baby. And you know what? When Marco gets back, he probably going to whoop your ass. Are you sure I'm the one that's weak? Are you sure? <laughs> Boy, I tell you. Unfucking believable. You choosing this bitch side over your own family? Your own flesh and blood? Man, this has nothing to do with family. You don't even know what the word means. You know what? I'm out of here. Fuck this. Zary and I still spoke, although our conversations were often guarded and awkward. He was still hurt by everything that happened. I replayed it over and over in my head. I had to find a better way to deal with the anger and resentment that consumed me. And I had to learn how to forgive my parents for what they did to me. I knew that was the only way I was going to get my life back on track. Hey! Corey! How you doing? I'm good. Oh, good to see you. You too. How are you doing? Good. Good. Thank you. Y'all want me to send this one? It's cool? Oh, yeah. That's good. Oh, make me some. All right, cool. What's going on, Corey? <laughs> Nothing, man. You know, I'm just trying to get my head on right. So you talk to Sage? No. I um I tried to, you know, send her flowers and cards. She hadn't responded. I don't even really expect her to, you know, after everything that happened, but I talked to her. She had a baby. That's good. That's real good. Look, Corey, I went here when all that went down. I did hear about it, though. I didn't know you and Justice was messing around like that. It was just physical. I thought it was more than that, but that's because I wanted it to be. I just let my feelings get the best of me, you know? Yeah. I can understand that more than you know. 
I bet you can. <laughs> Enough about me. What's going on with you? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Have you talked to Justice or Selena? Selena. <laughs> you know what? What's up? That girl keep calling me. Oh. Crying and apologizing mm. all the time. Yeah, that's crazy, bitch. I'm telling you. Yeah, I know you told me. Mm -hmm. You know what? The only reason why she wanted me is because she thinks I'm that big ticket. I kind of thought that you and Selena, I mean, you know, I thought you liked her. Mm -hmm. Look, At least. She was a distraction, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. A distraction? What's that mean? A distraction, okay? Long story. Nothing more, nothing less. Who's that going? Yeah. Anyway. Wanna go see the baby? <laughs> Whose baby? Sage's baby? Yes, your godson. My godson? Hold <laughs> up. She still wants me to be the baby godma? Yeah. After everything that happened, after all the shit that just went down, she still wants yes, me to be the baby? Yes, Corey. She still wants you to be the godma, okay? Now, I know you miss her. She miss you too. And she still hurt, okay? But she still wants you to be the god mom. I do, Marco. I do miss her. I just was afraid that she wouldn't, you know, after everything that happened, that she wouldn't want me to be in the baby's life. And I, Cora, Cora. I was scared she wouldn't even want to be my, want to be my friend. Cora, look, she wouldn't want anybody else to be the god mom. <laughs> and neither would I, okay? Neither would you? No. Yeah. What you talking about? Oh, you're so damn silly. <laughs> I'm just saying. So we gonna go see the baby now? You calm? Good. Yeah, just, just, just give me a second. Um, give me like maybe 20 minutes to get ready. No, we don't have 20. We'll have 20 fast. minutes. Gonna be real fast. Look, the, ba right back, okay? the baby don't care what you look like. Come on. Are you sure she wants to see me? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna run upstairs and make sure she's straight. Okay. What's y'all doing in here? Cora, what's what's going on with Marco? He um he's checking on Sage. What's everybody doing in here? What you doing here, Selena? He called me. He told me he told me to come up here. Zarian, has he said anything to you? No, he didn't. I just came up here so I could Sage is awake, y'all. Y'all wanna go out there and see the baby? Man, this is ridiculous. She gonna rob me of the only chance to see my son born? She going too far. I didn't even know she was in labor. <laughs> you brought yourself, dude. If you weren't cheating around on her, maybe this stuff wouldn't be going on. Man, Marco, listen. I know, man, you got a lot to say to each other, man to man, one on one. But now is not the time, and it's definitely not the place. Okay? Marco, can we talk? What you mean, can we talk? After you fuck somebody over? <laughs> You got this overwhelming feeling to talk to somebody now? Marco, pull up. Please tell me she did not take him back. Look, I don't know. I um, don't have no parts in that. You bastard. You fucking bastard. What? I'm gonna kill you, man. I'm gonna kill you, dog. How could you do this to me, huh? How can I do what to you, Justice, huh? You ain't got nothing to say, huh? You think you walk around here, fuck people over, and that shit won't go come back to you? <laughs> fuck, how does it feel to know the truth, huh? That the baby you thought was yours, ain't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you just gonna walk away, huh? Can't handle the truth? Marco. It's too painful Marco, for you, huh? Marco, Marco, Marco! What? What you talking about? What's going on? Look, Cora. Her baby. What? Sage, baby. Yeah? The baby's mine, Cora. What the fuck? No offense, but all of y'all, y'all need help. It's a good thing it's a hospital down the street with a psych ward because all y'all need to check in ASAP. I mean, this is like a soap opera. Damn, I don't get this shit. Zarian, wait. Wait for what? Huh? I ain't waiting. Y'all got this. Z 
Marion, baby, just wait. Give me a chance to talk to you. Just no. let me talk to you for a second. What you mean the baby is yours? Is that what you call me up here for? Huh? To throw this shit in my face? <laughs> like? To embarrass me? For real, for real. Okay, cool. You've been playing me this whole time. What was out of you? A distraction. A distraction? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Baby, you was never a distraction to me. Mm -hmm. I loved you. I could love your scheming ass if I wanted to. That's how it is. That's how it is. Okay, hold on a second. All right, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm telling you, you fucking around with the wrong ones. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Huh? What? Yeah, you can come through. I'm ready. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm. I love you too. Oh. Trash. Bye. Trash. <laughs> so, I guess congratulations are in order. Look, I know you got a lot of questions, okay? We'll get back to that later. Now we gonna go see the baby, right? You good? All right. Yeah, I'm good. Let's, let's go. Really? Huh? Let's go. I'm ready. Breathe. Try to get all confrontational. Mm -hmm. But then he realized the way he was doing was wrong, so he left. Yeah. Serves his ass right. <laughs> Listen. How does this make you feel, Sage? What? Justice? Yeah. Relieved. <laughs> Leave because it's finally over and I don't have to deal with his shit no more. And happy. Happy? Yeah. I'm happy because you and I, we can finally be a family now. The way the things, you know, should have always been. So long. I've been waiting for you to be mine. I loved you from the first time I put my eyes on you. I mean, I just got so much going through my brain right now. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I'm scared. I just know I want to take care of you and the baby. You've been so patient during this whole thing. You know, you never rushed me to make things end before it was time. And I really appreciate that. And it's over now, baby, you know? And we can finally be a family. <laughs> hey, Sage, how you feeling? Why the hell is she here? Baby, she came to see you. Can't see you and the baby. Marco, you told her? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Marco, you told me she wanted to see me. You told me to come down here because she wanted me to see her and the baby. Mar right. Marco, you playing games? No, I ain't playing no games. Yes, you, damn you for this. Damn you, I hold on, you, you told me to too. Don't talk to him like that. I don't want you here, Corey. You need to leave. How could you do this to me, Mark? Look, both of y'all need to stop this shit. What the hell wrong with y'all? You mean to tell me y'all go end this friendship over justice? Both of y'all don't want him, right? So what's the problem? Y'all need to sit here and get this together. Because y'all family. We all family now, okay? Okay? just hadn't given birth right now, I'd be kicking your ass. 
Well, you can't, Sage. So now what? Hmm? You know what, Corey? Why don't you take your fucking weeds and leave? I ain't going no damn where. I don't understand why you even here. You been playing everybody. Me, Justice, everybody. Run around here like some damn victim. You know, all this time, all this time I've been fighting myself, struggling with the guilt for what I was doing. And all this time you've been living an entire life behind my back. Do you feel better? Sage, who the hell are you? I am a product of my environment, Corey. You sitting up here trying to make me feel like I'm not the victim. I am, Corey. Whether you like it or not, I don't give a fuck anymore. Sage, you stopped being a victim when you opened your legs to Marco. You come down off that damn high horse you insist on sitting on. And Sage, I hate to tell you this, you're not the sweet, innocent, compassionate person you want everybody to believe you are. Sage, you're treacherous. Okay, you're not a victim. Fuck you! Bitch, fuck you! You know what? Corey, you knew what you were doing from day one. You ain't feel too bad about it. You kept doing it over and over. Messing with him behind my back? Oh, and shit, since you want to cry, confess, well, I got a confession too. I knew about you and Justice. What you mean? I said I knew. You knew? You knew? What you mean you knew? What you know? How did you know? Socks look good. They make my toes breathe. Justice, wake up. I want to tell you something. I said I love you. We can meet up in about like 30 minutes, maybe do lunch or something. Yeah, I'm fine. All right, so I'll see you soon. All right. Sage, I never meant for any of this to happen. I swear, I never did. Corey. Say, just, just listen to me, okay? I don't want our friendship to end like this. 
I don't want it to ever end. Sage, I don't have anyone. No one. Corey, look. I'm tired. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Just go. Go? Sage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry for what happened. I'm sorry. I am. Look. First of all, back up. You should have thought about those consequences. I will never be able to trust your ass again. Ever. How could I continue this friendship? You was doing some shady ass shit too though, Sage. You was doing some shit too. Okay. All right, Corey. I'll admit it. I lied. Yes, I lied. I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to take away what I had. Taking Mark away from me. He's too special for that shit. Sage. Marco would never do something like that to you. I can tell by the way he looks at you that he loves you. In a way that justice never could. I love Zarian, okay? I know he don't want me right now, but I'm determined to get him back. You don't have to worry about me trying to do anything with Marco. I promise you that. I'm sorry, Corey. But that's just something I'm not finna take a chance at. I let you do it once. You cannot do it to me again. So that's it. I have to. <laughs> you don't have to. But you want to. I dig it. It's cool. You don't have to worry about seeing me again. But I do love you. <laughs> Corey. I'm not saying much. Yeah, I'm okay. Just a little emotional, I guess. Yeah. I can understand that. Sage. Hmm? I'm moving. I know. Can you believe that? I have I have so many memories in this place. Yeah. But think about it, Corey. I mean, you're about to move on. A new place. New memories, it'll be good. I'm still nervous. Why? I mean, you've prayed about this over and over. And plus, you have good people standing behind you. Real positive people. Everything's gonna be okay, Corey. Don't worry about it. You're about to embark on a new adventure. Right, right. Corey. You are about to own your own dance studio. That is really good. A business owner? <laughs> That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Sage. Of us. You help me with this too? I couldn't do it without you. Without your love and support, none of this would have been possible. You know how much you mean to me? You're my best friend. Friends? <laughs> Corey, we're more like sisters. Give me a hug. <laughs> How you gonna say? You're right, sisters. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you for being there for me. Is that all y'all do? <laughs> Cry and hug and shit? Y'all supposed to be in packing. Hey, we are, Marco. I'm pretty sure there's more boxes in the living room. Go make yourself useful and finish. Look, you don't be talking to me like that, okay? <laughs> Bye. Make yourself useful. <laughs> Oh, let me take this phone call. <laughs> okay. Hello? Hey. 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 You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, can you believe it? Ooh. Our own home? 
a new business? Mm, yeah, I can believe it. Mm. <laughs> Guess what? Hmm. Justice has moved out of state and supposedly he took Selena with him. What? Yeah, I know, right? You kidding? It's hard to prove, but I believe it. And then my mom, she told me about it the other day. And the girl that she describes, it sounds a lot like Selena, but I know my aunt, she's not happy about it. But oh well. Well, I mean, all we can do is pray for them. Yeah. So. You okay? Am I okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Am I okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm more than okay. <laughs> okay. I feel good. <laughs> Last time, oh. y'all. Um, okay. That's my piece. I'm part of the Oh, man. Hey. So, you ready to start your new life? <laughs> I am. I'm ready. It'll be good. I love you. Me too. <laughs> Go on. Stop with that shit. <laughs> I'll be right behind you, okay? Alright. You gonna be alright? Yeah. Just wanna say my last goodbye. Alright. I'm in here. I thought about that spider I saw when I was a kid, spinning away, so determined, so focused. There it was, building its web right there in the most inconvenient place. Not a care in the world, just trying to find a place to call home. But I knew that if someone decided to knock that web down, the spider would either rebuild or find someplace else to live. Once again, proving its resilience to fight through hardships, no matter what. And Celia was right. People could learn a lot from spiders. I know I have. Take care. Come up, and I get that warm feeling. My heart's so protected because it's been neglected. Yeah, yeah, but you the thief in the evening, stealing for a great cause, similar to Robin Hood. So I'm ill and tripping, the sipping get less. The sets get less because your smile's worth a million. And might I add that to sad, straight killing? But when we spoke for that brief moment, it was too revealing that we were appealing. Same ideals, views, philosophies, same taste buds, same ways of making love. So my mission is to make her my latest day and let the past be the past. Cause if I keep on holding on, it won't last. No seconds.